Hello. I'm the Good Spirit. This is the agenda of the Galactic Beings and you know them as the Galactic Federation of Light. Question. Who are the Galactic Federation of Light? The beings of this Federation are from Orion. They come from a planet called Despora. The reason why they call it Despora is because it means separate from the rest, the Chosen Ones, the Enlightened Ones. They are a blunt-haired and blue-eyed race. These beings are so beautiful, they would look to you as angelic beings, but don't be deceived, because they are so incredibly evil. And their original state of being was a reptilian form through the process of evolution they have evolved and changed their physical appearance. These beings are not as you would understand physically powerful, they are more from the realms of the mental, and this means telepathy, thought projection, and that's why they cannot go further than the fourth dimension because of their agenda and deception, they reside in the fourth dimension because this is the mental realm. Once these beings come they will share technology that will make dreams come true for many, and so once they come you have to use discernment dear human. Many people are brought in a state of trance by these beings, because these channelings bring forward hope, love, and freedom to create. Which is everyone's dream, and you should watch out what you wish to believe, it is your choice as we have said before, but you're on your own and so it is your choice and responsibility. These beings from Orion are also called the Nordics. And your government has been in contact with these beings and working with them for a very long time. And if we tell you to be careful then we mean trust only yourself and no one else, these beings have replicated the dimensional layers of this universe into the fourth dimension, and so we are here to tell you you should be aware that they will talk that they came from many dimensions, but what they mean is octaves, they come from different octaves from the fourth dimension. This federation has created a great empire, and at the top of this empire there are two reptile beings who run it, and these beings have left their mark on your world, it has been seen in the hieroglyphs of Egypt, where crocodilian faces appear in the stones. And these beings feel the need to control you, and because you go to churches and pray and ask for improvement they get feeded by power from your being, they play God over your civilization, and this is something that has to stop, and what we mean by that is if you could all become unified and see what their plans really are, then they would lose the control they have now. And for them to lose such, a control over 6.5 billion people is as death to them, and they want to keep you in this lower state as long as possible. These beings are about to present themselves to you, they are already in your world and have been for a long time but they will soon come and become a sensation to your world, and once these beings show up to your civilization, their objective is to stop as many people from staying on earth and walking through those dimensional doorways to the true part of ascension. They will make themselves known and they will tell every one of you their version of ascension, and please do not forget these beings will look to you as light beings and also they have created a false light body, but because you live in a lower vibratory realm, they will be visible to you as a being of light. So once they come they will sell love, better than one of your election campaigns, it will be all the lights and the glory and they will just deceive everyone by those actions, and the reason why they do this is because, they need to win the hearts and the minds of the people, in order to seduce the humans onto their ships. Their objective as we have said before is to get as many people onto their ships. These beings are lying to you, and it takes a little understanding and power of knowledge to see who they really are. They will first send beings with technology to your planet, these are the beings you know as the Greys, these beings are beings who hold knowledge about fantastic technology but be aware because these beings, have power to manipulate your human minds. And after the Greys have done their job, they will send the other beings to continue the deception. The journey all of you have taken is more than you think, you all have come to Mother Earth in the generic form that you call human, human means godly man. The genetic codes within your physical body is so special at this time because everyone on your planet in human form now contains all the codes of this universe, and so you are essentially the most powerful beings in this universe and this is why these beings came to you because they do not want to see a birthing of a Christ consciousness civilization. And so this is the reason why we talk to you now and the ones who hear these words because this deception has to be stopped, 
by all of you, because you all are so powerful that if one of you would use its full power their empire would run away in seconds, so can you imagine how a civilization of Christ consciousness beings could influence the universe for the good of all and so they want to stop your civilization to evolve because if you could only understand your power of intention that you have. That's why they want to keep the most strongest beings in a paradigm of darkness. Can you imagine how much energy is being projected out by intentions alone? When they have a planetary race of the most powerful beings of the universe worshipping them they have never been fed so much power in all of existence, your civilization is like a drug for them, because they cannot let go of you, they want to try to soon interfere and take as many of you with them, and they want to do this because, they want to take as many of you with them so that they can continue the worshipping. Question. If we would stop worshipping then what would happen? Then all of that would go away, then their agenda is over, then your sovereign rights would be yours and then your whole civilization will experience ascension, but this however is everyone's choice, and this is not likely to happen. If your civilization would be connected on a higher telepathic level then they would not dare to come to your civilization, but this is not the case and so it's all up to you and the choice you make. But we do not judge and we do not worry because, all of you will choose what is right for you and we respect that decision and honor your beliefs. But let's continue on the subject of the Nordics. Because these beings are very clever. If you would read the channelings and the New Age material it will keep you going, until you see as many are seeing now that these channelings are so full of nonsense. But we are not here to express judgment but we are here to say that you should trust what's within your heart. Question. How can one feel that this all is true? Put yourself into their shoes, how would you approach a planet? What would you do to interfere in the circumstances of a civilization that is evolving? It is not with weapons but by seducing the beings with higher knowledge and that's how their agenda operates. And as we have said the new chakra above the heart is the guidance that one has to listen to, where one discerns everything, 